The construction of this locomotive has progressed on and off for over 20 years, and it's now virtually complete. I plan to carry out the final tests later in the year. This part one video will perform an introduction to the project and it's planned to follow it with a series of videos covering in detail the tender, the locomotive itself, the electronics, the track and the final testing. The model was initially constructed to provide photographs for the Winson brochure on their Evening Star kit. When I acquired the model at a distance it would appear complete, but to finish it using steam power would not have been practical. For example, the copper boiler was a dummy and contained no internal parts and there were other crucial parts missing. However, since I am an electronics engineer my plan was to turn it into a battery powered locomotive. A macro version of my Holmby OO gauge loco and run it in my garden. At an early stage I decided to follow the Hornby approach and put the driving force in the tender. However I did include a current limited motor in the locomotive, primarily to cancel the friction of the plane bearings and running gear, but it does also provide a modest driving torque. This approach also reduces the wear on the running gear and it seems successful. This image shows the underside of the tender. Each axle is independently driven with its own motor. This rather poor clip from nearly 20 years ago shows the first test run of the tender chassis operating via cable. This clip shows the tender running for one of its two internal 33 ampere hour 12 volt batteries. The combined weight of the tender and its two batteries provides plenty of traction and its three motors effortlessly pull the truck with myself plus passenger and could pull a lot more. <laughs> the loco could go much faster, but these were early tests. The locomotive center axle is chain driven and the motor and gear assembly fit up into the rear of the boiler. This will be explained in detail in a later video. This clip shows a test of the loco chassis running from a mains driven power supply via a cable. I've shown it in slow motion to demonstrate the running gear in action. The next clip shows the loco running under radio control from a towed car battery. You can see the battery on the truck at the rear. To work on the loco, I constructed a system to allow the chassis to be rotated and clamped at any angle. I used the boiler to form the structural element of the superstructure. The cab, cladding, smoke box, etc. were then all securely fastened to it. Two screw jacks were made, which allowed careful and controlled raising and lowering of that part of the loco. When ready, the part 2 video will show the tender in detail. <laughs> 